this video series, you will master Win32 app creation in Microsoft Intune. Me, my name is John Brins. I have over 20 years of professional IT experience, which of more than 10 years I've been working with Configuration Manager or Config MGAR, or sometimes even called SCCM. I also have several years of experience in Microsoft Intune, and I'm heavily Microsoft certified. I have deployed over hundreds of different software to thousands of different uh, devices all over the world. And if you follow along this video series and practice a bit on your side, you will be able to do the same. You will need a Microsoft Intune subscription to follow along this video series. The good news is that you can sign up for a free trial that's valid for 30 days. I will put the link in the description. Win32 apps is what this video is going to uh, focus on. You can also deploy a pure MSI file or Windows Store apps, but this video series is going to be primary about Win32 app, which gives you more freedom because you can bundle a 32-bit installer, a 64-bit installer, or files, or just a script. So it's a great tool to use when deploying software in Windows Intune. The videos will be in general five minutes or less, so you can follow along in your own tempo. And again, if you do that, if you look at all this video and you practice on the side, you will master Win32 app in um, Microsoft Intune. It is a little plus if you have previous experience from another deployment tools like Configuration Manager or some scripting or packaging uh, uh, experience, but it's absolutely no must. We will do this step by step. You will be able to follow along with no previous experience and we will go through everything in detail. We will start with package 2 software, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. Mozilla Firefox have an EXE installer that we will use and Google Chrome and MSI. So we'll see a bit how that works differently. We will also do an installation script in CMD, Bash, and one in PowerShell, both works. If you have no preference, I strongly recommend that you use PowerShell, but again, both works totally fine. The next video will start to create a template with the folder structure when building the packages. Then we will fill them with our installation files, our install scripts and our config files. Then we will package it with a Win Intune tool that you can download for free. Once you have this uh, Win Intune file, we will switch focus and go to the Microsoft Intune admin portal and upload this file and then add metadata such as application information, icon, and then we will also go through how to put the installation script, the uninstallation script and some other parameters. And then we will go through the requirements, hardware requirements and other settings and then the detection, which actually decide if it's a success of the installation or not. And that's us who are totally in control. Then we'll go through dependency, if this package is required from other packages. Then we will go quickly through supersedence, and then assignment, which is basically how you deploy the package. As a bonus, we will go through PS App Deployment Kit, and that's totally optional. If you have previous experience with PS App Deploy Toolkit, you will still learn some difference how it works in uh, Microsoft Intune. If you never have experienced uh, MS App Deploy Toolkit, then you are in for a treat. That's something really cool. I hope you are ready to start this journey with me. Let's start in the next video.